Hello everyone, welcome once again to my digital painting tutorial. Today I'm gonna paint uh, Ziza from Final V8 build series. Okay, so I started off as usual with a sketch. So this time basically I'll have a different approach, a different technique that I would like to try compared to the previous video that I usually do or the way that I usually paint. So this one I'm not gonna start with color painting. So I, I would actually do monochrome until I finish the apes, until the face and the body fully resemble the apes. Then I'll um, start adding colors. So this time you gonna see me use only black and white monochrome color until at the end of the video where I start adding in colors. So these apes, especially from Rise on the Planet of the Apes film series. Uh, it's Caesar. Uh, I used reference photos, which is actually from the second film, which is coming out soon. So basically, it's just nothing much. I paint using a sketch, rough sketch, very fast, and then I'll use the liquefier to to um, adjust the shape of the face, the shape of the body. Doing so, it actually um, reduces a lot of time using a lot of Photoshop feature that come with it. Now this one I'm using Photoshop CC and the same tablet, Bamboo, Bamboo Fun tablet. Um, for this painting, I took around one hour and twenty minutes, and a bit more than that, about yeah, one hour and a half. Which is the, the last one is actually just some retouching that I do it after after I finish recording the video. But it's okay, just a tiny. So what I try to do with this uh, now, I'm adding uh, minor details into the face, like the wrinkles, the um, you know the birthmark and everything onto the ape's face, onto Caesar's face. You know, just playing around, use a very um, use low opacity brush, and then yeah, just use the level the level feature there to basically um, increase the value range, the tone range. Like I mentioned before in other videos, that I usually do not um, paint with a high range because I uh, you uh, increase mistakes. In my opinion, at least. So from now, um, I can see that actually the eyes is not is not in shape. The eyes is small, and it is a bit too high. So as you can see later, I'll um, use the liquefier tool and also uh, paint over uh, the current eyes in order to achieve uh, what I really wanted. You can see up until now, I'm still painting with black and white color, monochrome face. So I'm just adding tones, values to different part of the face, adding wrinkles, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, it's the first time that I actually do this. I, I just wanna see how long it's gonna take. And I would say that I am not an expert in adding colors to monochrome colors, especially for a, a realistic painting like this which you're gonna see later that I play a lot with the colors because it doesn't look realistic because now I'm using liquify tool to um, adjust the, the placement of the eyes and nose and all and after that I paint over because the liquify tool actually gives uh, it, it gives an unrealistic look so I have to paint it over again So the technique that I use this time is actually to to paint very fast to just you know um, not just not to focus on one spot for a long time but you know paint this and there paint on the face and the eyes and back to the nose and back to the neck to the shoulder and up back to the eyes again you know all over the place so that you know I do not focus too much on the single 
um, single spots on the face, you know, um, because otherwise um, it it won't look. Uh, how do I say? It? You know, like um, it, it won't feel that the picture is as one. You know, the painting is as one. So now, yeah, I think the eyes is right. So I'm just adding wrinkles and all. Just you know, randomly put it in. Up to what I feel, yeah. Luckily, the monkey this Caesar looks a lot like human, so I just you know I think of a human face and old people, and it just add wrinkles accordingly. And for the fur, um, it's actually very easy for me. I, I just use a normal texture brush, a chalk brush, the default brush that comes with Photoshop, and I just paint it over, and just it just look kind of real. And on top of it, right now I'm just using a a, a low point, low pixel. A smaller brush size and just paint it over by using a, a light lighter color so that the the fur um, really stand out each single piece of the hair the fur and body so it's just tiny piece like on the shoulder on the head on the chest you know not not every part because I'm not trying to achieve like you know a super realistic um, painting that's gonna take a long time. This one is very fast. Just uh, one, one hour plus, one hour and twenty minutes. So now I'm just going background. I think the face or the body is actually done. Now yes, I just started uh, adding colors by um, creating another layer on top and then change the um, the layer option to color, and then just paint the color over. Now as you can see that I, I actually you know took a lot of time on this I would say yeah almost half an hour just you know because it, it doesn't look right I add one color orange and I change to red change to purple change the level and it still it still doesn't look realistic so what happened here is the fur is not supposed to be um, it's not supposed to be colorful. It's supposed to be black and white at first. But then the skin is supposed to have color. What happened on the real photo is um, the real the real apes is that the skin actually goes under the fur. So you can you it looks kind of like the fur has color, but it actually is the color from the skin underneath. You know, so actually I actually have to use um, a lot of things. So what I did here is actually um, I decrease this the color saturation uh, of those low midtone colors, low midtone um, uh, value of the apes using uh, the features, uh, Photoshop's features. If you know what I mean, you know if you know what I'm talking about. Actually, yeah. By decreasing those, then I um, uh, it looks better. It looks much better. I don't think I record it in this video. You know, it's just after I finish it. Then I do it afterward. So now I just sharpen it, and I also um, increase the value. So there's a, a higher shadow area on the face, the the other half of the face that you will see later at the end of the video. So now I'm just playing around with colors again, and yeah, I play a, a lot with colors. Just to find the right tone, increase saturation, decrease saturation, adding blue filter, adding green uh, filter, and also adding magenta filter. So I'll just do some final touch up. And yep, this is the final painting. Actually, uh, make it look more dramatic by decreasing the increasing contrast. Thank you for watching.